Hannah, she's been dealing with it for about a month now. I mean, we're right in front of her home. Take a look. This is her fence right outside. You got pieces of wood. You got missing boards. Ginger says she's even fixed this fence, but it's no use because that man comes back and breaks it again. Down here, she's got cameras installed. She tells me she's reached out to police. She's reached out to city council, and yet that guy's still out there and keeps coming back. She tells me at this point she's afraid for her family's safety. In January, Ginger Rivera moved into her new Tacoma home with her 15-year-old son. I was kind of going through a difficult times, so it was, I felt more capable, you know, being a homeowner on my own. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of exciting and scary all at the same time. Several months later, this single mom says the excitement is gone and all that's left is the fear. I can't rest, you know, I'm on high alert all the time. It's fight or flight mode. For the last month, Rivera tells me this man continually returns to her home, destroying parts of her property. She says it happens multiple times a day even. And what's worse is Rivera has no idea why. The neighbors don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what his motive is. Is it the house? Is it the previous tenants? Is it me? Rivera tells me she is dealing with the headache and cost of home repairs. But what is much harder to manage is the loss of feeling safe at home. She says it's gotten so bad, her son no longer wants to stay in the house. You know, that's heartbreaking. I don't blame him. I agree with him. Rivera tells me she calls the police each time the guy shows up. But yet, he's still out there and keeps coming back. They see this as just a not a high priority crime. This is vandalism, which I, I understand. But if you take in the whole picture, it's escalating and he has intent to do harm. You know, it's it's an attack. Rivera says at first she was terrified, but now that feeling is turning into anger and she's taking things into her own hands. And I need help and I'm not getting help. And so I'm reaching out to anyone I can to get that help. Rivera says one of the people that she has reached out to is Tacoma City Council Member Joe Bushnell. I also reached out to Council Member Bushnell today in regards to this incident. He responded to me in a statement that you're looking at now saying what's happening here at this home in this city is unacceptable. And Bushnell says he's working with Tacoma Police to address this issue. I also reached out to Tacoma Police today to see what they are doing in this situation and what more Rivera can do. However, at this point, I have not heard back. Reporting live in Tacoma, I'm AJ Janavel for Fox 13 News.